Hello there, it's Mark here from Excel Off The Grid. In this video, we're looking at how we can create switchable print areas in Excel. So that means that one worksheet can actually have multiple print ranges. If you're ready, let's get started. So here we are in Excel and you can see that we have a report. The top section is an income statement and the bottom section is a regional breakdown of that income statement. What we want to do is to create a print range that we can select so they either select our income statement or it selects our entire report. So for this, we need to start with a data validation list. So I've selected my cell and then under data and come to data validation. In there, I want to enter a list and I'm just going to enter two values in there, summary and full. So it's either the summary report or it's the full report. And then I'll click OK. Next, we need to create a print area. So I'm just going to select all of those cells there. Come to page layout print area and then set print area. Now a print area is just a named range. Just come in here and select summary and now we can edit our named range. So formulas and then come to name manager. Here I have my print area and then I'll click edit. For this named range, I'm going to use the switch function equals switch. So where cell H2 is equal to summary, I want it to return cells A1 down to F15 or if it equals full. I want it to return my entire report, which is A1 down to F24. Close that bracket and then click OK and then close that. So now if I press Control P to print, you can see it just brings up the income statement. If I go back and change that to full, press Control P, you can see that's now expanded to include that full report. So in that, we've created a switchable print area. Now, one thing to be aware of is that if we make any changes at all to our print settings, it will revert those back. So it will overwrite that named range that we just created. So for example, if I were to change the width to be one page and the height to one page, when we go to Control P, you can see we get our full report. When I change this to summary, it still shows our full report. And that's because we come back to formulas, name manager, it has overwritten our dynamic print area. So hopefully this is a useful technique that you can put into your worksheets. It's helpful if we have a report where we print different sections and distribute them to different people. Now we can just use a selector and we can easily print between those various sections. But you have to make sure that you make that change to the print area as the last thing you do, because otherwise it'll get overwritten by any other print changes that you make. That's all for this video. If you liked it, why not check out some of our other videos where we share even more Excel goodies. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.